Hello, I am Sai with my family here, and we are doing a new video for Things Very Good about inulin fiber or inulin powder. And um, I've just opened this powder right now. I actually had a little taste of it, and it actually tastes mildly sweet. Um, it's low calorie, mostly fiber, but the the point is not about the low calorie and fiber um, specifically. I'm looking at this inulin powder thinking, would it be a good emulsifier? And it turns out that inulin can be a good emulsifier. This is specifically from Sunchokes or Jerusalem Artichokes. And uh, it, um, it, like I said, it tastes good. I know that already because I had a little taste of it. Um, but what we want to do is we want to see if we can make a protein drink that is going to be emulsified. So it's going to have that creamy texture. And that's what we're going for. And we're going to make one with and one without and see which one is better by doing a taste test. And you're going to see also this special recipe here, which is one that I've been using recently, but I've been using it without the inulin powder. So it's not been emulsified. My wife doesn't like it. We're going to see if we can change that. And uh, I think this is a great ingredient, though. And what we're doing here is this is organic pea protein from now, and it is really high in iron. It's also got a lot of amino acids in it. It's a really good vegan um, protein powder. We also have another bottle here, which is um, actually not now protein powder, and it's not even vegan. This is whey protein powder from grass-fed cows, and it is... This is just is a totally different type of protein and we use, I use it, it has like 15% calcium in a serving. Bottom line is, is that right now I'm experimenting with this and I have liked it. So let's go ahead and um, put this together and we're gonna see how it tastes. And um, if you don't wanna use sugar, for example, you could go ahead and use some stevia, like this organic stevia here. I'm not gonna use that today. I like the sugar, I'm not afraid of it, and I think it tastes good. I'm going to use a whole tablespoon of sugar in each of these cups. And um, you can take a look in there if you want to. I've already added a little bit of water into the cups. And um, what I suggest is add about this much water, just a little bit of water, and that way you can stir this up really good before you add more water. So we've done that. Let's go ahead and add our pea protein powder. And one in here, and one in here. Did I put sugar in both things? I did, yeah. right? Okay. All right, and so there's our pea protein powder. And next we're gonna go ahead and add this whey protein powder. And I'm gonna be doing just two scoops of, or two tablespoons each of the whey protein powder for both of these, and then one, one teaspoon, one tablespoon each. Oh, did I do one or two? You did one each. Okay, so here we go. Let's do two. Um, and uh, normally what I might do, well, this is basically what I would consider a full serving, but I kind of split the serving in half so that we could have a taste test. Next, I'm just going to add just a tiny bit of vanilla. And that was more than I even wanted to add. But like a teaspoon? Oh no, Half not even a teaspoon. No, just a tiny bit. Okay. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and add the inulin fiber just to this glass. And we're going to see if it emulsifies it well and if it tastes better, what kind of effects we get from it. And so this is a serving. Um, comes with a scoop like this. It's probably close to a teaspoon is my so guess. So why did you ever get the inulin powder? Well, a little bit about inulin powder is it is what is considered a prebiotic and it's fiber, soluble fiber, as opposed to unsoluble, so your body actually uses it, but it doesn't use all the carbohydrates in it. Um, it does, so basically it's like really low calorie, even though it's only 10 calories in a serving, you probably don't even actually get that many calories from it, but what uh, prebiotic fiber does is it actually feeds the bacteria in your belly that help you to digest food. So it can improve your digestion. And it is also, there's some research that shows that inulin fiber can actually increase your calcium absorption and possibly increase the absorption of other minerals um, because the calcium absorption is a different story about why, but 
um, with other minerals and nutrients, it's partly because you have a longer transit time through your digestion. This is one thing okay. to be aware of. For the most part, everybody views inulin fiber as a health food, but um, it can cause gas and bloating, just so you know. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and add this, and you probably would have to have a lot of it to really have any serious but gas you didn't bloating. Add any into this one. Yeah, and then we're not adding it to this oh, one, because this is our, this. we wanna have the, okay. the one that has not had any added to it. And okay. so, next we're gonna do this. We are going to mix these. You want to go ahead and mix that one, Kyle? Yeah, yeah. And um, don't taste them yet. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and mix it. Sure. Well, okay, so Levi has the one with the inulin fiber in it. And so mix it as good as you can. We're going to show you guys what it looks like, and then we're going to add some more water to it in a minute here. Okay, let me mix it up a little bit more. But you did a good job, Levi. Okay, and so, so we know this one is the one okay, with first. and um, with the inulin fiber. And we're gonna let you taste it in just a minute. But Lexi, I'm we'll see about that. I'm gonna add some more water to the one with the inulin. You need a spoon, Carl? I think yeah, that could help. Okay, and so we're mixing this one up. This is the one with the inulin. We've added the water to it. You don't have less that, Carl. It's okay. Okay, and now. We're going to go ahead and mix this one a little bit more and uh, you can see they have the same ingredients except for one of them is with the inulin fiber and one of them is not. This is the one without the inulin fiber here. So just mixing them and... Uh, Do you think that the one with the inulin fiber will taste better? Well, we're going for that creamier taste. Do That's people use for. that in like... Protein powder and stuff? Yes, they do. And you know, an emulsifier is meant to like bond the watery Lasting. element with the oily okay. element. It's what gives things a creamy taste right. or texture. Let's try and it. so you can see here. Let's just go ahead and look here and see if we can see a difference just straight out. So this is what it looks like inside the one that is has the emulsifier, which is the inulin. Okay. And this is what it looks like inside the one that has no emulsifier. And you can already kind of see, I think there's more clumpiness to the one without the inulin, but let's just do a taste test and see if one tastes more creamy than the other. So, uh, can I be first? we're gonna go ahead and do that Is now. That Let me put this one down here and this one down too. And uh, um, everybody's asking me to be first. <laughs> Levi said he was last last time. So I'm gonna let Levi go first, you can go second, okay? So this is the one. No, that's the one. This is one without the inulin fiber. So go ahead and taste <laughs> you it. You sure? Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Mm, it's super good. And super this is good? without the inulin fiber, okay? I like it. I don't know like that. Without the inulin fiber. It's weird. I like it. It's not bad, but... You like it, Kyle? I personally like it. It's just like protein powder, pretty much. With a little bit of flavor. Okay. Mm -hmm. That sugar helps, <laughs> um, by the way. Okay, and here is taste test number two. So we're going to do the comparison here. So Levi, we're looking to see if there's a difference. It, what is the second one? Is the Vida? This is it? the one with the emulsifier. Okay. Mm. Is it more creamy that or one not? might be better. We'll have to see. I think this one's... I think that one... I think it might be a little hmm. creamier. You want to taste it too? Mm -hmm. It's also less chunky, but it might be. Yeah. Yeah, that that is the emulsification. If it's less chunky, for real. Can I taste? Can you tell a difference? Mm, I don't know. Let's it is here. a little more. I think it's slightly more creamy. It's more creamy, and I think it's a mm. little bit less chunky. But... Yeah, I would say that it probably is a little bit more creamy. Wait, can I taste it? Um, okay? It would be interesting if we had them reversed, right? If we actually picked up the wrong one. Exactly. Which you've seen it on the video. <laughs> So is this a placebo effect? We'll see soon. <laughs> um, but this is the one we think has the inulin fiber in it. We know, you know, you were watching the video. So, um, but. Uh, I actually kind of think it This is that. a murder mystery also. Hmm. So anyway. I think that is because I think. Oh, the difference to me may not be huge. I don't think. I it's not a huge it. difference. I have to be honest with. Um, it's not a huge difference. However, you do possibly get some benefits from the inulin fiber. This is an organic one, um, and I'll go ahead and put a link to it, but it is made by the company Micro Ingredients, 
organic inulin powder. So I'll go ahead and link it in the description. But yeah, I can't really say that I 100% can say there's a huge difference in the emulsification. Maybe if it sat a little longer and the fiber had a chance to absorb a little yeah. more water, it might make a bigger difference. But, um, you know, did you guys think overall that you could really tell a difference? Yeah, not do an, too much. Want to do an, another real quick taste test? I, not okay. really that much. I think I got kind of... Yeah, you think without? I think it's a little less chunky, but not anything really else. And I think this one's a little better. Next, you didn't taste that one yet, then. Oh, which one? This, this one. one. Okay. Yeah, this one's less chunky. I think this one's a <laughs> tiny bit. Yeah, better. I think this one's a tiny bit better. Okay, so it looks like they might like the one without the fiber <laughs> better. Interestingly enough, um, one way or another, you have it. The honest review on things very good could be a very good thing with the even to help you absorb some more of that um, calcium from your. Whey that protein powder or whatever you might be getting calcium from, and uh, but yeah, our conclusion is is that there's not a huge difference, um, and I can honestly say I'm I'm pretty sure. I can't say that it's really emulsified. I mean, <laughs> I'm not getting that feeling that Do it's. Do you like, maybe have to use more? Possibly, but. What is the serving size on that? The serving size is one of those little, like kind of Scoopy almost like a thing. teaspoon, one okay. of those scoops like I had. My wife has just told me that she does think that the one that has the inulin is a little more creamy. Because I just tasted it again. Yep, and she's being camera shy. So she, should, she said she didn't take a shower today <laughs> and uh, she doesn't want me to get her on the camera. I think she looks fine, but you know what? We're going to just give her that honor of not having to be in the video. So. There you have it. Anybody else want to state their opinion again? I think it's a little more creamy for sure and a little less chunky. But yeah. All right. So yeah, you'll have to experiment with it yourself. We're about to let them actually taste the inulin powder now by itself. Did you guys want to just come in here really quick and taste the inulin powder? Sure. Okay. I do not want to. So <laughs> one more thing in this frenzy here, you might have heard somebody mention something about how they like the taste of this inulin powder, that it was sweet. And there is no technical sugar. There are carbohydrates, 2.2 grams, amounting to about almost 10 calories per serving. But what I wanted to point out is, is that my kids have told me this tastes like ice cream. And I had to have some more of it myself, say that there is some kind of like a vanilla ice cream flavor texture to it. So, you know, that's uh, something I was not expecting from this inulin, but um, something that you'd probably want to know. So that is going to be the conclusion. I'll put a link in the description for this. Why don't you just give them a close up of this label here. All right, and we will see you in the next video.